Hi all, in this video we are going to learn about the application of Google Firebase with ESP8266. We will make IoT based home automation project using Google Firebase. So basically we will be controlling the relay that is connected to the home appliances using the Android application. The Android application is designed using MIT App Inventor and has the database related to Google Firebase authentication code and the Firebase host. So, this is a simple project which requires a PCB. So, I have used an easy EDA to design the PCB. So, this is the PCB as you can see in the screen. Okay, so the PCB has a front and back view something like this. We have some of the relays, transistor, register and ESP8266 board along with the power supply board. So, in order to order the PCB, you need to visit next PCB website. Currently, they are selling 4-layer PCB at $12 and you can order trial PCB, 2-layer PCB. At any PCB order, you can get 20% off. Now, go to the PCB instant code, upload the Gerber file here. So, once you upload a Gerber file, you can view the top view, bottom view and all the view in the Gerber viewer. Select the PCB quantity, select the PCB thickness, color and select your country. After selecting your country, the PCB is ordered. Comment down in the video section below so that you can get $2200 discount coupon. So this is the schematic of the home automation project. So only use this schematic if you are doing this project on a breadboard. So we have a 4 channel relay and a node MCU board. So connect the input terminal of 4 channel relay to the D1, D2, D5 and D6. The node MCU is supplied with high volt power supply using 7805 voltage regulator IC. You can power the circuit using 9 volt power adapter or a 12 volt power adapter. And LED is used so that it will display the power is supplied. Go to the Google Firebase. So search in the Google. Go to this website. Now let's quickly set up how you need to set up. So here you need to create a Gmail account. So if you are already created, go to the console. So go to the console and then click on Add Project. So write cut it quickly the project name here. Okay, I have designed my home automation and then click on continue again click on continue select the account so select the same Gmail account now create a project so once you click on create a project your project will get created automatically within few seconds now click on continue and then now click on database in the database section you need to create a database so just click on start on text mode click on done so the firebase database is created successfully now from this part select real time databases now here you need to modify the rules so click on rules and set this read and write as true and then publish this rule go to the data part again copy this link and go to the code in this code you need to change the firebase host so copy this link and paste and just remove https forward slash and backward slash now go to the project setting click on service account okay here is an option for database secrets so just click on database secret and then you have a database secret key here just copy this key and go to your Google Firebase and then change the authentication key from here. Similarly, you need to change the Wi-Fi SSID, okay, and then a Wi-Fi password as well. Rest of this, only the switching is done. We have defined D6, D2, D1, and D5 as a relay pin. Now select that node MCU board, select the code, and simply upload the code. So that's all from the code uploading part you can check it by opening the serial monitor here the node mcu will get connected to the wi-fi and then it will start showing relay is turned on or off okay now let's go to the mit app inventor and just create an app so i have already created an app 
and I have saved that that AI file. So you can import the file and you can design your own or modify your own app. So this is the block part. Uh, whatever is shown in the screen, that is horizontal arrangement, vertical arrangement with the function of each and every button. Now you can see there is a Firebase DB1. Here you need to insert the Firebase taken and Firebase URL. This is the most important parameter. So for this, just copy the Firebase authentication key from here. Okay. So just paste it over the Firebase token. Now in the Firebase URL, you cannot copy the URL that you have seen in the code. You need to give the full URL including HTTPS. Okay, so this is done. Now basically what you can do is you can compile this application and export. So you can see there is a designer block that contains the information of each and every programming script that is you are sending a zero or one command now go to the app and then create an app so i am basically saving the dot apk file to my computer and then i am exporting it to my mobile phone so after exporting you can install on your android phone so here is the assembly on breadboard using the four channel relay node mcu and few night bulb so just open the application so you can see here is the app with one on one two two on three on and four on and all are assigned off so you can simply click on this to turn in and off the every appliances so you can click on on and off to turn on and off the LED lamp. In this way, you can control the home appliances using the Google Firebase. Basically, you are sending the on and off command from Android application to Google Firebase. And Google Firebase is uploading the data to the Node MCU. So, on and off command are displayed on serial monitor. Now, similarly, S1, S2, S3, and S4 becomes either 0 or 1 when anything is sent from the Android application. So thank you for watching.